everyone. Welcome back to Muse. I am speaking with Kelsey Davies. I'm so excited. Me Hi. Too. <laughs> I love the gender reveal situation we have going on with the pink no. and the blue. What is that? Oh my God. Is that like a sign or something? Not for me, but. Right. <laughs> and I have a cat. I'll wait for a while. I'm good. No, <laughs> I have nice. two cats. So I'm like, they're, they keep me busy. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> well, I'm really excited to speak with you. I'm, I'm so fascinated with your everything. Like you, you have such, you're so cool. Um, oh, thank you. I'm glad yeah. you're so. <laughs> it's just, it's neat because you, you have so many different factors to you. And this is like, I've, I've interviewed a lot of different types of people in this industry, content creators and actors and the behind the scenes and everything in between. And it's, what I love about you is you have kind of like, you, you have like a door kicked open in like every area and then you have your own unique abilities. So yeah. I think it's really neat that you, that you possess that. Yeah, um, keeps me busy for sure. <laughs> I bet. I don't even know where to begin with you. So I'm going to no. go, I'm going to like, I'm going to kind of, I want to start in with like, like the psychic clairvoyant kind of situation, the haunt stuff. And then we'll kind of go into like, you know, entertainment career, because again, you have so many facets to you. First of all, you have, you're, you're a clairvoyant, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. How did you find out about this? How how does this like work for you? How does this affect your daily life? Like I'm sure you've you've mentioned this to many people, but give give me the elevator pitch because I'm dying to know. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. So I grew up with very open, you know, um to with my third eye opened, I guess that's the best way to explain it. I see things that it's it's hard to say that like publicly when you're like, I see things that aren't there. They're like, oh, you have something wrong with you, you know, but <laughs> it's like, it's very spiritual and it's very something that I've been understanding for like the past year, I've been really understanding it more than ever. And it's something I've had since I was little, I would always have dreams of things before they would happen, or I would dr have dreams where I'm in other realms or I'm meeting people that are deceased. And I know that they are and they'll show me how they died and they'll tell me who they're related to and their name and I'll get all this information and I never knew what to do with it because it just scared me for a long time and I would just see things or people you know around the corner like someone peeking around the corner or I'd see them briefly walk by me and then no one else would and wow. so I just kind of kept it to myself because at school I would tell kids like oh I had this weird experience and they'd be like no you didn't you're lying you're making that up and so I would just kind of you know I wouldn't really talk about it and it's something that runs in my family but I didn't know this until like a couple years ago and so when I found that out then I started really exploring it and now I just go to like the most haunted places in the world and I'll go without knowing anything and pick up on things and um just have crazy experiences <laughs> That's insane. So, so when you say it runs in your family, like there's some, so you have like an aunt or, or a mom or like a figure or somebody like that, who's like also intuitive as well, or like. Yeah. So I like the people who had it, um, they would do like seances and were mediums and psychics and stuff. I never met them. They died before I was born. And so my family they're not super religious, but they're also not closed minded, but they were never like spiritual. I never had any guidance on what to believe in. And so I kind of went, you know, I've never read the Bible. I've went non-biased on everything and everything I've picked up on and all these things I've learned, um, I guess have been like in the Bible and things like that, which has been really, really interesting to like align these certain things that I've experienced with that. So it's been definitely a journey. <laughs> that is so cool. Also, I'm like, I'm Christian. So like, I'm like, huh? oh, that's, re that's really neat though. Cause that's funny that you say that. I was literally thinking to myself, I was like, I want to ask you, is there any kind of validation that you can get? Because one of the things, especially like, I love my mom so much. I know one of the things that she's super afraid of, you know, and, and she's not like old, but she's definitely, I mean, she's, she's like 55. She's, yeah. she's young, but I know one of her biggest fears is like, her and I've been talking a lot about the idea of the afterlife. And I try to tell her, I'm like, I'm, I'm confident that there's, that you keep going. I really don't think that you stop going on. I think that there is a heaven or something like that. And I keep trying to tell her that. Have you yeah. been able to kind of get that like solace through your ability and know that it's like, yeah, like we're still, we're yeah. still cruising. 
the past year um, was crazy. I feel like I died and came back multiple times. That's how crazy it got. Um, so yeah, um, it's like basically what we're in right now, we're like spirit having a human experience. And it's like waking up from a dream when you die. Your soul is infinite. And if anything, this right now is the like kind of illusion, you know, this is kind of the dream, which is weird to say. And a lot of people won't understand that, but it really is. And then you go into this eternal bliss and this love, pure love, pure light, like beauty. It's, it's beautiful. Our universe really, really is magical and so, so beautiful. And I believe there's truth to every religion. There's, you know, every religion is kind of the same thing but kind of in different ways and I think that there's truth to every religion for sure that is so neat my my dad has this theory he's like and he's so funny he's a mountain man and he has this theory that like we're in our hell now in a way because of how we you know I mean you know that you're going to die at some point someday you don't know that and then you have like you know things to do here and you have and you are constantly chasing your tail and trying to do things and be and and exist and then it's like at the end of the day it's kind of all for naught because nothing material goes with you and no- nothing nothing goes with you the stress the material things nothing so I yeah, think that's I really- like, yeah I feel like it's more like a school that we're in we're here to learn yeah. and we're here to like every single day we choose if we want to be in a hell like consciousness or if we want to be in a heaven like consciousness we have a choice every single day is mm-hmm. what I believe you know um, and some people choose to be in that lower vibrational consciousness and some people choose to be higher vibrating and have that happiness that joy that love you know and it's all our choice is what I deeply believe (laughs) I love that do you do you have um in terms of your abilities and everything like that do you have a very hard time with I know one person that I've grew up watching and I'm not trying to compare you to her but it's really one of the only points of reference that I have I have Tyler Henry and Teresa Caputo like that's the only like two in terms of like big broadcast tv that I've seen personally do you find that it's very hard for you to kind of preserve your energy like do you feel like there's there's something always trying to make contact with you when you're around certain people or even like if you're just in Ralph's trying to get some yeah in, or like, how does that work? yeah it would really drain me before and now I've really understood how to like protect my energy and how to tune in and out of it which has been something that like even I had a dream the other day and they were showing me this radio and I was going to all these different channels of different things in this dream and I think they were trying to teach me how to tune because it's almost like a radio you're kind of tuning into these different frequencies and stuff it's really weird how it works and confusing and I think it's just beyond our human comprehension but it's something uh, I practice you know even with people because people can drain your energy too so it's about protecting your energy from uh, people who can drain it and affect it in different ways well, I, I love this so much. I, I kind of want to segue this into the whole, I could, I could go on forever. I'm I know, it's, there's oh, so yeah. much. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so fascinating to me. And I love the fact that I want to kind of dive into the whole like, you know, ghost experience. And like you said, you're traveling to these really haunted places. I grew up with my dad when I was younger and we were very much into like, we loved ghost adventures. And so we, I grew up on the East Coast. We went to like Gettysburg and Harper's Ferry and all of these really neat obviously very notoriously haunted places and you're taking it even a step above that with the caliber of places that you're traveling to yeah (laughs) kind of like how did this come into play for you how did you find yourself into this opportunity and obviously I mean you're documenting it all the while and your YouTube videos are fantastic so talk to me about that yeah so I it was a long time ago we went into this haunted sewer tunnel or the sewer tunnel that was like just really creepy when we were um it was me and my boyfriend now and we I don't know I felt things in there and I had always felt things and experienced things and I was scared of it and so I went on line and I typed in haunted sewer tunnel and oh my gosh tv popped up and he does all these paranormal videos and I started like binge watching his videos because I was so intrigued I was like oh my gosh this is something I've been afraid of for a long time and to see someone like chasing after it I thought was so interesting and so I kept like 
I don't know. I started YouTube and then I wanted to start ghost hunting. I was so scared at first, like of it, because I just knew it was real. And I was like, it wasn't even a question. And I don't know. I try, I wanted to debunk things. I wanted to figure it out. And so me and Oh My Gosh TV ended up being good friends later on, which is really cool. And um, that's when I just started, you know, he really inspired me to go to these haunted places and get the history and just have these experiences. So it all just kind of came together and I edited my own videos for years and did everything on my channel and built it up and just kept going. <laughs> That's insane. Have you had any, well, and then I think to myself, I'm like, oh, cool. She's also one ghost hunting. It's like, no, she's had it on a different level. Like <laughs> I went in and I've been in places that I knew were haunted. And it's like, I feel like something's going to get, not going to get me, but like, it's here, you know, it's something, yeah, right. something's looking at me that I can't see. Right. Um, and for you, I'm sure it's a completely different level. I mean, that's like, that's an interactive experience because of being sensitive. It, is there anything, has there been anything in particular that's happened to you where you like had anything latched to where you maybe had to go home? Do you have any rituals or like sage or holy water or anything like uh, that? Yeah, I I do a lot of meditating and a lot of just even paying attention to what I eat and what I what I put in my body and stuff. And I don't I can't drink alcohol because I experience really negative spiritual things when I drink alcohol because it lowers your vibration so much. And so I just stay away from it. I'm allergic to it anyway. So I'm like, oh that's something God. I can't have. Right. Um, and then all you know, all you sage and sound bowls and things like that. I think it's all the intention. I think holy water works. Any type of protection works because it's your intent of pro being protected. And I think that's the way it all works because we, you know, we emit that energy and we create our reality. So if we feel like, oh, this sage is working, it's cleansing me, it's going to do that. But okay. if we think otherwise, it's going to be, it's, we literally create our own reality. So, um, you know, it, it, it depends on what I feel. I'm like, okay, what's going to make me feel protected and me feel cleansed and me feel safe today. Wow. That it's is so <laughs> I love learning about it because I mean, I have, I have all of that, like sitting over there. I have the holy water. I have Florida water. I have the sage and the rosemary, everything in between bunch of stones I forget the names of them but they're really pretty you know yeah. <laughs> I, I think it's I think it's fun to have that but then you know also I just think it's really great to kind of get that validation in a way because there's right. There is so much controversy over all these different types of things. And then I'm like, well, they use sage. Like it it all works if you think it works. It's like, it's that yeah. simple, but we all fight over it. You know, it's yeah. so, it's interesting how our brains like do that. <laughs> yeah, that's so fascinating. Um, So I'm curious also like with your content and everything like that, you're you're incorporating all of these elements. When did you have that moment where you're like, look, I have these these talents and these abilities. And obviously we'll get into like, songwriting and singing and acting and everything like that here in a second but like when did you kind of determine like okay I have these abilities I'm confident in them enough to be able to share them despite how people are going to receive it when did the content creation portion kind of like come into play for you and for you to be able to ultimately make your platforms to be able to share everything yeah, I think I just, when I started on YouTube, that's when I started really kind of putting that out there and people would comment here and they're like, Kelsey, I think you have like gifts or something, you know, you like pick up on things or you see things and stuff. And I'd be like, no, no, because I thought you had to go like school or something to, you know, yeah. become like a medium or whatever. Right. Um, <laughs> I had no idea like how it worked and stuff. And so then I got like this haunted doll and her name's Lola. There's a spirit with her that's very, very friendly. And a lot of people just really liked her. And so I started making content with her and started it. I don't know. It kind of helped me on my spiritual journey, just understanding things and understanding how to communicate and to not be scared of it and to just like, like living with this haunted doll, you know? And so yeah. I started sharing that and it, I don't think it's a coincidence that everything just exploded after all that, you know, all my social media, just after I got Lola, it, it was just <laughs> crazy. And I was like, oh my God, this is, I meant to do this truly. This is like what I'm called to. And then that took me little steps here and there to get to where I am now. And it's just been such a beautiful 
just amazing journey. And I'm just grateful to be able to help people understand things like this and understand that we all have the capability of opening that uh, part up. You know, everyone has it. It's like, it's not like people are born with it, chosen to do it. Mm -hmm. Yes, some people are born more open, but every single person is capable of opening it up. And I think that sharing that with people and sharing my journey and growth into it is really, really helps people. And that's the whole reason that I wanted to do it. I just wanted to help people and give people somewhere to go, a community to feel safe and to feel like they can just be themselves and share their experiences without being judged or called crazy. I love that. Well, and I think that it's really important too, because it's kind of like, like you said, it, it, you, you probably are maybe a little bit more preempt to being open and everything like that. Like you said, I think like, like you said, everybody has this ability that they're able to kind of like focus in and hone on. And I'm sure it depends on a lot of environmental factors and even like who's around, you know, I'm sure if you live alone, it's a lot easier to try and like work on that as opposed to like, if you're in a house full of mom, dad, and four siblings, you know, and and I think that that's great that you're providing a space too. I think it's the closest thing that we have to like a superpower in a way. Yeah. And having a collective of people come together and, you know, just be authentic and be able to be themselves, I think is really powerful too. Definitely. I, I want to segue into obviously your other artistic endeavors as well. Now you've had the opportunity for for acting, I know for for singing and everything like that. When did you realize those talents? And when did you kind of how again, I think it's so cool that you're able to literally you are you defy the idea of niche down, you know, because I'm always interviewing content creators and I'm always told, well, you have to niche down. And it's like I understand that in terms of marketing analytics even getting representation and things like that. But I love that you have just such a vast offering and you're able to really tap into everything. So I know that's a lot of thoughts, but like talk to me about acting and singing and everything like that. And then even I know you're acting in your own music videos. Talk to me about this process and when you let everybody else see that side of you as well. Yeah, I've always, always just, I was always shy at school, which is really interesting. I was the shy girl that didn't really talk and stuff. And I feel like that's the same story with a lot of people in the entertainment industry and acting, which is really interesting. Um, But I, I, I always just knew I was going to be in the entertainment industry in some way. I would watch TV and shows and I would just see myself like on it you know, I don't know I would have these visions and stuff when I was little I guess and I just knew and I was like I need to do that I want to do that that's something I am passionate about and something that I really enjoy doing on a soul level that's something I'm meant to do mm-hmm. and so that's when I uh, started really building my social media as well from the beginning before I started doing all the spiritual stuff I you know they ask for how many followers you have when you do acting auditions and stuff. And I was like, I need a following for that. What? Okay. (laughs) Yeah. It gives you this, I don't know. It's really interesting how it all works now. And so I started building up my social media with that. And I think that kind of just put the puzzle pieces in order in my journey, you know, to get to where I am now. And now these acting opportunities are coming to me in various ways. And it's really amazing to have that because that's the reason you know I really initially started um but I sorry spirit just like did something over there I I love my haunt my haunted apartment is always active (laughs) I don't know if you heard it it was like they were knocking on something I did Um, hear that oh that's yeah (laughs) they kind of do that sometimes but I think that was validation but (laughs) Um, yeah, I, I wanted to like start singing too, cause I always loved that. And it was just something I felt like I could share. I always express my art or my emotions through art. So I think that singing was a way for me to do that as well. So, and I just thought, why not? It's like, why, why, why not try it? <laughs> and so that's when I just started doing some music and acting and everything just it's crazy how things have come together and I have a lot more things coming up that I'm really excited about too. That's wonderful. I, I'm curious to ask you, obviously, I'm not a I'm not a spoiler by any means, but if there is anything that you would like to tease that's up and coming for your fans, yeah. love to have the opportunity to do that. 
Yeah, I can share that I just did a short film and it includes like Bonnie Aarons, who was the nun in The Nun and like she was in The Conjuring. She was Immaculate. Yes. Uh, she was there. She was there. She yeah. Was there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that's the first time we met in person because her scenes were like uh, on a different set for that one and stuff. Okay. It was cool though. Um, So we did a short film and then Emma Ramey is the star of that. And we have like Elizabeth Yu, who was Azula and like the Avatar series. And we have Tyla and we have, it's like, it's such a crazy, amazing, really cool short film. And it's directed by, by Blair Bathory. So um, that's coming soon. It should be coming really soon. And then we'll see yeah, there's other things too, but I don't think I can share those yet. <laughs> that's okay. No, that's really fun. How obviously you're working with the iconic nun herself. How was that? Um, I didn't get to work like uh with her on the scenes or anything, but she's okay. cool to be a part she's of something down. that <laughs> season and meeting her. I met her the for the first time at Immaculate, and we're we're just both so excited about this project. Everyone who's worked on it is so passionate and excited about it. And mm -hmm. I feel like it could turn into something bigger for sure. And that's what we're all hoping for. So awesome. yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, fingers crossed. I'm so excited for you for that. Thank you. Uh, and also I have to ask you about your haunted apartment. How <laughs> talk to me all about this. And even now, like you're saying that you're getting this knock for validation, which I did hear, I can attest to that. Um, what does it does it ever like freak you out like that you have like roommates without but I mean I get you know talk to me about that that's yeah so <laughs> yeah it's I feel like most apartment complexes just have a lot in there because there's so many people living all totally. you know amongst each other and people have spirits with them and they bring things and you know I think there's just a lot of uh, energy but yeah I have a few haunted items in my apartment that I chose to bring home because um, I wanted them to be a part of the family and <laughs> so uh, I experience things like constantly I'll just see things my cats will see things we'll all look at the same time and oh that's so <laughs> it's funny yeah they just like start pawing at things and stuff and my boyfriend will experience things and um like my dream yesterday was I had this dream of meeting this light being and yesterday that was really intense too so I get a lot of just all this a lot this <laughs> my life's just a lot <laughs> my gosh now how does your boyfriend react to things like this like is he sensitive or intuitive at all or is he just like yeah babe I try yeah. like <laughs> where is he at with that he's definitely very intuitive and he's very sensitive but he like he was a skeptic before he met me he was skeptical oh and wow so now he's a full believer and yeah you know living with me you just, it's hard not to be <laughs> so my life you know and that's incredible <laughs> you're like listen <laughs> listen I could go I could write a book <laughs> you ever foresee yourself writing a book or anything like that because you do have so many different I mean even just based off of our, based off of our conversation I could just like continue to ask you so many questions oh yeah um, yeah I would definitely write a book I I've seen it I know it's gonna happen one day not soon but in in the future I know that there's gonna be a book for sure so that's awesome <laughs> Well, Kelsey, you are so cool. And I just, I've, I've loved having the opportunity to speak with you and to get to know even more about you. Um, obviously, plug whatever social media you would like. That way everybody can stay up to date with everything involving you. And I, I want to give you the floor for that right now. It's uh, just Kelsey Davies on YouTube and then Kelsey Davies with two I's and two S's. So it's K-E-L-S-I-I-D-A-V-I-E-S-S -S -S on uh, TikTok, Instagram, and most of my social medias. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for speaking with us. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>